everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito. My name's Jerry. My name's Landon. And today we got a plethora of stuff for you. We got Marvel, we got DC, and we got games. You name it, we got it. Let's talk. Landon, how you been? I've been doing good. How have you been? That was the shortest. How I you got been? Nothing. I got nothing. I'm pretty happy. I'm what have you been doing this happy. week? Uh, <laughs> Watching nothing but Marvel Spider Man 2 stuff. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I, I am I'm on cocaine on it for it right now. I I can't get enough of it. All the impressions, the deluxe edition trailer, the thing we got with the state of play. Um, it's all been great so far, and I don't know. I we'll talk more about it in this episode. Very very exciting episode this week. So thank you you guys for joining us. Yeah. Um, um and more good news to add on top of that on my part. Oh well, well here. Now I may um, ask, how are you okay. doing? Um I'm doing good. This isn't this is I get, this is news regarding the podcast, but um or YouTube in specific uh, specifically. Um oh, multiple things first. Um yeah. thank you for helping us pass right now at the current moment we are at one thousand two hundred and one subscribers. Amazing. Um yeah, so we've passed the twelve hundred mark. But that's not what I wanted to really talk about because, uh, let's see here, uh, episode 96 of the Combo Burrito, uh, which was September 4th, um, is now sitting at 1,261 views. Fantastic. Yes, so thank you all for that. Uh, we got a lot of stuff out there you guys can check out. Different things. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah that was, I wanted to mention that before I forgot. Um, good, good to hear. Glad we're growing as a community. Everywhere. <laughs> um, and I, I mean, that's pretty much all for me. I mean, we watched the trailer. We both did, which we'll talk about later. Um, really, that's it. There hasn't really been much happening this week besides the PlayStation show. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into the news then. Because no time to waste. Yeah, um, no Destination D twenty three was this past week, um, which is the Mar a Mar. Well, they didn't show off anything. Uh, I mean, they showed off stuff at the event, but not we didn't get anything from it. Um, maybe some pictures of different like movies and stuff, but really nothing. Nothing new was shown. I don't think. Um, that Marvel related, but um, we did get an opening scene description for Loki season two because people there got to see it. And so I thought I'd read that. We also found out that Loki is Disney Plus's most profitable show, which I mean we could have guessed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, D twenty three. Uh, oh, last weekend. Sorry, Loki season two executive producer Kevin Wright was on hand to unveil the first ten minutes of the show. Um. Let me get. Um. Uh, here we go. All right, let me click on this link right here because I can read it better from. Okay, um, Loki has returned to the TVA. This is the description, in the opening scene. It appears that a variant of Kang is now in control with the statue of the supervillains dominating the skyline. Mobius and guards chase him through the halls with Loki's friend now unfamiliar with who he is. To evade being captured, Loki dives out of a window and lands in the bed of a yellow hover truck. This driver is so startled that she accidentally nicks the statue of Kang on his cheek. Uh, the truck crashes into the side of a building, and Loki tumbles out into an office where Casey also doesn't recognize him. He calls out on the intercom for security. Loki looks down at the marble floor, which has the TVA shield and sword crest inlaid. It's been damaged by the chaos of the moment, and then something strange happens. Loki glitches. Loki's standing in the exact same room, with Casey staring at him quizzically, but something is different. Casey knows him, for starters. Loki looks down at the floor. The crest is still damaged. He asks Casey what, what that when that happened. Casey can't remember a time when the damage wasn't there. Loki believes he was just in the past. He asks Casey to get Mobius, and then he glitches again. And that's the scene. So a very, very eventful opening, definitely. Yeah, it literally picks up immediately, it seems like. Oh yeah, exactly. He turned my um, audio up real quick. Um I'm real I mean, I think it's a good idea to open. I mean, that's a really good hook. People yeah. just immediately just like, okay, boom, you're on board here. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. And from what I've heard, <laughs> this show is going to push further the multiverse story more than any other project has yet. More than No Way Home? Yeah. Interesting. 
Okay. Yeah, so that's a uh, footage for Loki season two description there. All right, we get Casey right in the first episode. Yeah, uh, that's a W. Someone said that the truck chase scene is um funny. What's truck chasing? What? Oh yeah, okay. The yeah, the um cab or whatever. Okay. Yeah, apparently it's a funny scene. Huh. Someone's saying that. Yeah. Uh, we are less than a month away from the show, I think. Yeah. Yes, we are. What, what date does it come out? Do you remember? I like how I'm October sixth, I think. I think it's I October sixth. It, is it? Is it not the sixth? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So it is the sixth. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's a Friday. Yeah, so it's actually two. Uh, dude, actually, this Friday, two weeks away. Hmm. That's kind of crazy. I'm, I didn't realize it was that close. I'm hard for that. Yeah, I also have something we're revealing um, this episode, by the way. Um, Lion doesn't know about this. Maybe he does, but he doesn't know I was going to reveal it today. Well, um, about a thing that we got coming up in like two weeks. Oh, I'm off the show. Yeah, um, that's exactly it. Anyway, Lion, moving Lion, on. Lion departure. <laughs> um, Travis Scott has expressed interest in working on the music for Marvel Studios Blade film. He said he posted on social media. Quote, woke up thinking I would love to do the soundtrack to Blade. I'm down with that. Um I think I think it'd work. I, I'm not like I don't I'm not like a rap. I don't listen to rap. But yeah. I mean sometimes it depends. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't I don't either, yeah. Not, but like not... I know of his music as of different stuff. Um so I mean I, I the stuff I have heard from him, it's it's I mean I don't think it's Trash, you know. I don't think it's bad or anything. Um, I mean, would it work for Blade? I haven't heard enough of it too. Now, uh, granted, uh, this we don't know if the Blade movies. I guess we still don't know because the script isn't finalized. Um, but I mean, originally we heard it was based in the 1920s. So, yeah, it's, I'm actually kind of interested in that. Yeah, uh, um, I think. Uh, I think it'd be really good if made it like a period piece movie. That's it, what it, they're supposed to be doing with Fantastic Four, supposedly. Which we there's been rumors about that, which I could go ahead and talk about now. Um, apparently, John Watts might be back in for directing Fantastic Four. Real, as you know, the the last uh, director dropped out. Well, what we'll makes John Watts want to go back in? I don't know. I thought he just, I thought he's just like, yeah, I'm, I don't want to. Oh, misses that he misses that Marvel money. It was that exactly, yeah. I I don't I don't care what anyone says. Um, I don't take anybody any, anybody seriously no more when they say oh, I don't want to. Oh, I just want to do my own thing. Never do, but then yeah. they don't And then when, then when the mouse shows up to their doorstep with a briefcase full of cash, and that's when they go in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think John. I'm happy with John Watson. Fantastic Four. I really don't mind it. I mean, he made the Home trilogy, Spider Man trilogy, and I think. Yeah. I mean, those are all those are all good. I mean, they're kind of comic booky. I mean, a little bit. I mean, I think they'd work yeah. nice. I think his style would work nice for Fantastic Four. I mean, I certainly don't mind it. I mean, I think there could be like way worse things, way yeah. worse uh, directors that could be on board with it. Um, and then the writer's still good. I mean, it's the writer from Avatar, too. So. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm I'm not against it. No. Um. Yeah. That's a. Uh, that's that. Something that um I originally was against until I heard more about it is what we're talking about next, which is that Disney Plus has announced that this Halloween an in color version of Werewolf by Night will be released on Disney Plus. Um and now in color I originally thought like, oh my god, they're just gonna make like a colored version of it. It's not gonna be it's just not gonna be black and white. <laughs> yeah. So they've ruined it. But no, according to um Michael G. You know, I may be saying his name wrong, but you know the dude who did the score. He directed it. He also did the score for like the Batman and yeah, um, everything. He um, said that they've been working on this for a while now, and it is. He said he wants the color to pay homage to classic horror color color yeah. horror movies. That, and that's part because that's um, when I first heard about it. I mean, that's why I assume they do. They're gonna make it look like that, and um, I can't wait to see what it looks like. There was photos that were out, but you told me those, those were fake. Yeah, those are fan made, and you can tell because um the girl's jacket was yeah. like black and it's supposed to be red, mm. and um man thinks eyes were white and they're supposed to be red. Oh, okay, okay, I know that. 
Yeah, so the person just colored them weird. But, That's um, well, cool. I'm happy about that. I, I'm excited to see. I wonder when we'll see it. Um, I don't know. I don't think we might get a trailer for it. It'll be like watch the trailer, be like now in color or something like that. Yeah, it'll be like the day before it comes out or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like what they did with the. That's like a week before. Um, I mentioned. I, I wonder if it'll be like its own separate like project, or it'll be listed underneath Werewolf by Night. Oh, like an option to watch. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it'll be like that. I I want to I'm gonna go out and say it will be its own thing that you click on because I don't know maybe I don't. I don't know. I just don't think people would really find it easily. Like, not yeah. your average person is going to be able to, like, you know, I want to go through the settings on here, just as, you know, of this, like, where the subtitles on it are just to find it. Yeah. I just don't think they would, but who knows. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's coming in, in October. All right. Um, A lot of Deadpool stuff coming up. Uh, here we go. First, talk about Sean Levy, who's the director of Deadpool 3. Um, he's responded to the rumor that he's in the running to direct Avengers Secret Wars. <laughs> I read that rumor, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, I think he's ch- he tried to dip his boot in it a bit? I, I think so. Yeah, he also, I... He's been coming out a lot talking about the movie. I don't know if you saw, um, he said he's read a bunch of the rumors um, that's been going around for the movie. He said, now, some are true and some are not. Yeah, so, so which I mean, we so that's not, not true. I like the. I know. I feel like it's so rough right nowadays, especially during a strike, to believe a lot of these like scoops just to coming out. We're still talk about them, but it's like big, huge grain of salt, bigger than ever. Especially with DC, which I'm going to talk about later, because DCU news right now, it's it's rough. It's bone dry. Pretty it's much. not bone dry. There's a lot of it, but it's just like not. Well, I mean, if it's red, red, reputable. Even coming from Daniel RPK, which is a lot of this news is, um, he's not he's notoriously not been a good DC scooper, and neither has um can we get some toaster? My time to shine hello. But they're still putting out stuff, which I'm hesitant to even and plus we know James Gunn is like keeping stuff secret. Um I mean, it, all that. It, so I'm rolling some people too, like giving them false yeah, information. Yeah, and so like I'm hesitant to even talk about any of this news, but we're going to just to like say it's out there. <laughs> but I'm hesitant. It, but rough. We need DC news. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we definitely but, need. Yeah. We, we have anyway, yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway, more Deadpool three stuff here. Um. According to Great Phase, which um, I think they're reputable. I think they've been right a lot before. But um, they elaborated on why it's being said that Deadpool three will be a main lead up to Secret Wars. This is what it means. The film has the job of laying out the battlefield of the multiverse and its players. The TVA 616, uh, 616, so I guess Earth 616, Earth 838, Council of Kings, The Watcher, and his Guardians of the Multiverse. Which is like the team that was at the end of What If Season Mm 1. So, tell me that all of that's going to be Yeah, that's a lot. I don't know what to believe. (laughs) I mean... Now, The Watcher would be cool. I'd like to see The Watcher. I think it's much... Or not. I think I think it's gonna be uh, good. I think it's gonna. I I don't think they'll be in it that long. But I think this is like mainly like big background stuff. Like it's gonna set up. So we heard it's supposed to set up Battle World and everything too. This is really gonna be. It's gonna push the multiverse story a lot. I think. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely and, and it's supposed to, and it connects to Loki too. And so like Loki's probably gonna set something up in that. Yeah. Um. Let's see a uh, quick break on the Deadpool stuff real quick before we hit um, more of it. El Muerto officially dead at Sony, according to my time to shine. Hello. Please be true. <laughs> Cause that was like, cause I don't know if this was confirmed or not. The was, lead actor was, dropped out. Yeah. Was that confirmed to come out? Yeah. Okay. So why not? I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, decision on their part uh you know i mean it was done to even consider the idea in the first place but yeah you know i, th- I think they realized they could save some money <laughs> oh, that's probably true with all these strikes going on they're like yeah we ought to not <laughs> waste money real quick <laughs> why wasn't el muerto in oh, spider-verse that's what i want to know i don't know 
No. Um. Yeah. Cancelled. They're, they're dead. Get them soon. So, that's that, that's really good news. Probably, yeah. probably best news we got on here today. Um. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe not that. though. Oh. Um, moving on, Deadpool 3, uh, more information here. Daniel Radcliffe, according to Daniel RPK, has reportedly been cast in Deadpool 3 for a, quote, secret role. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah, that's, that's right. Potter. I bet, I bet right. he got here <laughs> You know, he was rumored everyone wanted him to play Wolverine. I feel like this is a John Krasinski situation. I, I, that's what I think he's doing. I think he's playing a var- Wolverine variant. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely think that's what that is. But that's um, interesting. Let us know in the comments who you think he might be playing. Um, okay. More screenshots I have to read about Deadpool 3. <laughs> so much salt. Right. Or- yeah. According to Can We Get Some Toast. Sources have newly confirmed that Marvel went into negotiations with Daphne Keene right before the strike started to bring her back as a grown-up Laura Kinney slash X-23 in Deadpool 3. They anticipated the strikes and are hoping schedules line up once the studios pay actors and writers fairly, which lines up with Sean Levy saying Deadpool 3 was halfway through filming. It's not a significant role. Expect it to be more cameo. Hey, I'm cool with that. She's in there anyway. I'd like that. Yeah. And a grown up too, so she's gonna be maybe they'll give her like classic costume almost. Oh no, they will. I mean if they're giving Hugh Jackman in that outfit. Oh, because he just there's no wear it far away, but Huge Ackman. Okay. Huge Ackman. I'm gonna edit in that clip from Night at the Museum of him. I love that. I, that's he, like, the episode every time we mention Huge Jackman. What what's he doing? Oh, he's doing his Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stand back. <sighs> yeah, he like just you know I okay. Um, backstory before what I'm about to say. I went on SpiritHalloween.com and ordered for twenty dollars the X Men '97 Wolverine claws because I had to have them, and they're awesome. And I will be remiss and lying if I did if I didn't say that I tried to reenact that. Better. I mean, you got to like do the like, oh, like you know, you got to do it. Otherwise, that you just feel like a wimp with Wolverine claws. Darian Henderson. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't bring in that part. <laughs> yeah, these calls are awesome, though. I, sh- I might, um, with the thing that we were talking about in a couple weeks, I might bring them. Send a, send a, send a picture. Add a picture in this, and we'll see. No. See how cool you look with the claws on. <laughs> no. <laughs> but That's what I'm going for Halloween, though. I'm going to be Logan. I guess I'll be plastic man. I don't know. Plastic man. Yeah, I'll be plastic. I'm being low. I'm being Logan. I'm getting a cowboy hat, mutt chops, a fake cigar, plaid shirt, some boots. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. And these claws. Do I care about what I want? No. Get up. Shut up. Get up. Shut up. Uh, okay. Anyway, moving on. We know a little bit of what the ending of Deadpool three is going to be like. Do we know? Um. According to a lot of sources, so this is probably pretty reputable. Um, Deadpool 3 ends on a poetic note with Deadpool and Wolverine sharing some pizza together. Where or whose pizza, sources cannot say. See, that's bull. Like, you gotta tell us. Um, now, one of the responses was teasing something about Mysterio, which is weird. Yeah. But. I mean, yeah. I. Pizza Papa. Trapper's Pe- Campbellback. Papa. Pizza Papa always gets paid. That's right. I'm a, I'm gonna say straight up. I'm just gonna throw it out. It's Toby. That's all I wanna say. I don't think so. Probably wrong, yes. Yeah, so I I'm most likely wrong with that, but you know, you got the Fox X Men in there. You know, I don't know. That's who I want. But Yeah. Now who what was that do we have this one theory? Or did I thought I said something and you actually thought that could have been it? It was oh never mind it was never mind never mind. Because I was thinking I was like was it like Pizza Papa or something that we thought was really Bruce oh you Campbell? were like it's both and I was like yeah. what, if, what if it is Bruce Campbell mysterious and all that because remember he's gonna do uh, he was gonna play Mysterio yeah true hey. there we go I don't know 
Um, we yeah, have that. Next up, we got one more piece of Deadpool three news. Um, and this comes from Casey Walsh, the comics kid. He does a lot of um, scoops, and he's been right a lot. So, I mean, I kind of trust him. Um, he doesn't do DC scoops either. So, there you go. That's another reason to trust him. Um, but he had originally been taken out of context when he said that, when he dropped a hint suggesting that maybe one of the Wolverine variants in Deadpool 3 might actually be the MCU's Wolverine. He said, he came back and said, not exactly. The movie will end with a good idea of who the MCU's Wolverine will be. Oh. Uh. And everyone's thinking that... Um, I did read somewhere that Hugh Jackman may might be the MCU's Wolverine. Maybe. Now, how would you feel on that? I mean, I mean, I mean he's good as Wolverine. Why not? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's good, but, you know... I mean, I'm screw it. Why not? I, 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 don't know. I mean, he's... I don't want to sound mean or anything, but you know he's up there in age a bit. You know, what I'm saying how old is he? Like in his fifties, probably. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. You know, better than what I look, and I'm eighteen, so or nineteen. Excuse me. Um, so I I don't know. I just I don't know. I just just a thought. No, no, I'm not against it though. I like him. But I mean, I do it, think well, the last. I don't think it's actually going to happen. Though. I do think the last time we'll see him will be Secret Wars, and I have a piece of news at the end that talks about that. Which we are almost it, right at it. I do want to make it clear with everyone that if he stayed as Wolverine, I'd be happy. I'm just, I was just throwing out the idea, like, well, what if you know, you don't think he's too old or something? Yeah. So, um, all right, one more piece of news before we get to the Secret Wars and the final piece of news. And this piece of news is interesting. According to Caden Reed, who I've never heard of, but Daniel RPK did like this tweet, so I don't know. Um, no, no, news was going around that Denzel Washington had been in talks with Marvel and had been offered a villain role. Um, and now we know who this villain role is, apparently. Denzel Washington was offered the role pre-strikes of Galactus. I like that. I like that. I, I mean, I like the idea of that. Yeah. So we will see how this goes, but we could have some Denzel's Galactus. Um, now I hope Galactus isn't a cloud. Anyway. Oh, there, it better not. I mean, I'll be fine. I feel like they're going to like redesign him a bit. Which I mean, okay, I'm fine with. But like, he, as, long as, he's still, to... as long as he's still like a big dude in space. I don't. I don't want him to look like the. Um, like I don't think la- he's gonna have his face out. Like, like I, don't I don't think any part of his face is gonna be shown because then they'd have to CGI that and it'd be a lot. I I just don't want to look like one of those look like the um the thing from like uh, you don't want him to be look like a celestial. I mean, they were like kind of like Galactus. Was it, the celestials. I, I want to be like it looks like just like a giant robot or whatever. Well, no, but like. He seems to be a giant dude in space who's hungry. Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely yeah. needs to be a giant dude in space, but I just want... I don't know. I want whatever possible for me to... I, don't, I want the thing. I want... As, as long as it's not a cloud, then I'm fine. I, yeah, I know, but the thing is, I don't want it to just... Excuse me. Like, be the bare minimum of... It's not a cloud, but it's still not what you want. You know? It looks like something, but I don't know. I'm I'm on I'm on the vote of I think you need to go as classic as possible for him. I mean, maybe they might do that. Um, I mean, why, I mean, why not? Why not? Yeah, and they're definitely setting up Galactus to be an Avengers level threat. I mean, we're, if we're getting him in the first Fantastic Four movie, they're trying to go back in time to stop him from coming. So that would explain why he hasn't come to Earth because they went and stopped him. Yeah, it doesn't afford it, but they're trapped back in time. So really, yeah. they saved the world, and we don't even know it. They haven't saved the world since I don't know, just before we even knew. Sixties, sixties. <laughs> anyway, um, final piece of news here, and this is from my time to shine. Hello, uh, they said if Endgame was the closure to the beginning of the MCU with Iron Man, then Secret Wars is the finale to the Marvel franchises that came before Iron Man and the MCU. So this will apparently close out 
their stories. Because I, I went for that Spider Man. So this 4. is going to be your Spider Man 4. Movie. This will be my Spider Man 4, yes. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, what does that even mean? But I was like, I think, like, oh, yeah, like X Men, Eric Banner. Like, I was, where's that Ang Lee Hulk? <laughs> where's that Ang Lee Hulk? No, n- don't t- no, don't bring him back. Yeah, bring him back. No. <laughs> Why not? Mid. It, it ain't mid. You're mid. <laughs> mid. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna edit that in. You're gonna make it an echo. Hope yeah. not. No, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do the MJF video. Mid. Hope 2003 is not mid. It is not. Um. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Right. And that is the end of the Marvel news. Um. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay. So decent stuff. Yep. Uh, who's ready for a commercial? I know you guys are. You're some fiends for some commercials. I know that for a fact. Roll the and, tape. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt you. Just roll the tape. At AGF, after 40 years in mutual funds, there's one thing we realize. Eventually, everyone retires. AGF Mutual Funds. What are you doing after work? All right, in the commercial. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, uh, DC News. We got a trailer review Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom trailer released this week. And by God, W. Yes, it was. That was w. good. That was Let a good trailer. Let me pull up the trailer because I just want to look at it. Best, best trailer for a DC movie since I'd say the Batman. Probably, yeah. Um, let me pull up this trailer. Now it looks gorgeous. The first one looked gorgeous too, though. So I mean, I can't. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. Well, well upset about that. Yeah. Wait. Why did you say sorry? You broke up. I, I just responded. Uh, I even yeah, a little, little upset about that. Of what? Uh, the phone not being in it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what. Okay. That makes sense. I thought you said something about um, Black Manta, but I was like, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, hey, he showed up. Black, Black Manta gonna kill that baby. <laughs> hey, kill I, that baby. Kill, yeah, kill just, that baby. I've never uh, seen Twitter want to kill a child so bad in my life. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's gonna happen. Um, mm. Yeah, so Aquaman trailer. Um, basically, he's a dad now. Um, and his dad is teaching him um, how to basically raise his kid. And his dad's played by Boba Fett. Yeah. All right. um, but Aquaman, basically Aquaman, trying to raise a baby. And he's also the king of Atlantis now. Um, let's see here. People getting mad that he's long, doing laundry. Well, right. Snyder fans can't relate to clean clothes, I guess. So. That's, that's true. I, I don't the, know. the Aquaman suit in this looks a lot better than it did in the first one. Yeah, it feels a lot more vibrant in color. Yeah, I, I it's very comic accurate. I like it. Um, and we get some stuff here. Since I'm looking at it. Um, he's, Atlantis looks really nice. Kind of reminds me. It gives me Wakanda Forever vibes with like Talokan, only because just it's the last time I saw an underwater civilization. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Black Manta. We get some stuff here. We got some Nicole Kidman as uh as Aquaman's mom. Um, you know because. Uh, but the only thing I would see is when I look at Nicole Kidman is um, heartbreak feels better in a place like this. Oh, God. Or amputation feels better. Than amputation. Yeah. You hear they got. Um, yeah. Uh, the uh, AMC grow up. It's yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah. there's a shot. It I want to get your opinion. Made that thing better because now that's what I'm thinking about. Oh. That's true. 
Um, there's a shot in the trailer, and I'll get your opinion on Aquaman runs up to a duck, and the his dad's house is burning down. I did and see it's that. Like on fire, and that's also where his baby was staying. Just say that. Hey. That baby. Oh, sorry. And oh, um hey. Yeah, but so I'm pretty sure that's where the baby dies and the dad dies. Oh. Black Manta's outfit is different than the first movie. They changed it to make it look more comic accurate, and oh my god. I guarantee yeah. you know you know who did that? I bet that was James Gunn. <laughs> so, I bet it was. I bet it was. <laughs> I bet it was. That was the reshoots. That was the reshoots. I wonder what I wonder what it looked like originally. If that is the case, I wonder what it looked like originally. Uh, probably what it looked like in the first movie. Oh yeah, um, yeah but the guy, who's pl- the guy who plays um Black Manta is the guy who's playing Wonder Man in the Wonder Man show. Oh yeah, really? Comes out. Yeah. Huh. Um. Anyway, we got Black Manta's using this thing called the Black Trident, and it's like glowing green. It looks like he's giving him enhanced strength, which might be why he's such a more bigger threat in this. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that Black Trident. Yeah, we get Invisible Aquaman. Some undead people, like monsters or something. Mm-hmm. Orm, we see Patrick Wilson back as Orm. W, not yeah. out. And he kicks a butt in this. This is your Watchmen sequel that you've always wanted. I don't, I remember when DC Phantom was around. I I completely forgot he played like Aquaman's brother. And I'm just he like showed up. You freaked out. I, I was like, why is Patrick Wilson here? Oh my god, we're gonna get something Watchmen related. And then I was like. Talking about Aquaman Lost Kingdom and how it was filming it and all that. I'm like, God, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> the visuals of this movie look I'm really good. Like I'm looking at there walking through this like weird jungle place. It looks kind of crazy. Oh yeah. Is that there's that weird shot of Aquaman jumping and like slamming into some stone thing? Like I don't it was really out of context. I don't know what that was about. Um <laughs> I saw I saw the trailer, man. It's like you get like less than a frame of a second of Amber Heard in this. Yeah, punching a window. Punching a window. Uh, yeah. yeah, we get some shark people. There's a whole like civilization of shark people that they go meet. Maybe a king shark cameo. That's all I'm saying. Maybe. Uh, Let me see my boy. I I, I will call it now and say no. Oh come on! I'm gonna After call it. Credits, post credit scene. No, oh, well. I hey, I hope I'm gonna say anyway, no. If it did have it, it'd be cool. We get some more good looking black. I, I if I say a sexy looking black man in a costume. I just gotta say it. Well, I like that sexy black man. <laughs> I get look at he's got this cool shot. He's walking down the hallway and he slings the trident up and it does like this cool thing. Come on, when they uh, you give fans comic accurate outfits. Oh, yeah, that's all. Yeah, I don't care. I'll call me. I mean, this literally look. Li- man, this movie looks great. I can't. There's like all these undead things. There's more Black Manta. Um, there's a shot. I love it. Black Manta outside of it must be. Oh, this is freaking Aquaman's dad's house. This is where because I see the lighthouse. It's falling down. He's sitting there with the trident, holding it up in the air in front of his army of like undead, whatever these things are. And Ooh. it's a great shot. Uh, he's more Patrick Wilson. Gets some fighting between Aquaman and Black Manta. And um, yeah, and basically it. We get that one shot. Of Amber heard a giant mechanical octopus. Yeah, uh, that was that was cool looking. Yeah, and that was the end of the trailer. It, it was December, great. November twentieth, Wednesday. Great trailer. Yeah. Um, let's rate it. Uh, I already know. Out of five. Um. Yeah. You know, you go first because I'm I'm kind of stuck. I mean, I could I mean, give it a I could give it a certain number because I didn't get to see a dead baby in the trailer, but I didn't see a live baby, which is good enough for me. It's good enough for me. Five, but like I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna give it I was gonna give it a five. I mean, it, it was it got me re- like talking about like for me just saying like oh, we'll see it when we get around to it. To like this is gonna be one of my most uh, anticipated films in this upcoming. In these upcoming months, yeah, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the uh, our review for Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom trailer number one. Only a few months away from the movie, they released the trailer really late, yeah, um, but yeah, I'm hyped for it, yeah, same, yeah, and let me see if I have time to talk about the next piece of news. We have three minutes left in this meeting.
Um, um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna shoot for it. According to Daniel RPK, which I, um, well, that's let me say this first. Uh, don't trust the DC scoops that are going around. Grain of salt, huge grain of salt, especially Daniel RPK stuff. My time is shining low, and can we get some toast? I don't trust any of it unless it's coming from a reputable source, something like Variety or Hollywood. I said, I said, I said, I said, James Gunn's the reputable source, and that's it. That's true. That is true as well. But according didn't to Daniel RPK, like, didn't, well, I was saying like, didn't he like again? Didn't he tell like tell people yeah. that? Yeah, the authority was going to be in there, but they're not. You well, know? oh, no. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. That's one piece of news. Oh, okay. Um. According to Daniel RPK, Brainiac will not be the villain of Superman Legacy, and Lex Luthor will be running for president in the movie. Uh, <laughs> he also says that the Authority are not in Superman Legacy, but this is this is understood between a bunch of different sources, because apparently James Gunn did send out a fake um, character list, and that the Authority is not in it. It's actually the team of I think it's the it might be the JLA, but it's whoever Guy Gardner and Hawk Girl and all of them are. What, Teaming up to be, oh, huh. okay. Uh, so that is not authority are not in the movie, but don't trust the DC leaks. Um, they're not. Yeah, you know, they're not. They're not too reputable right now. I, I was laughing when you sent me that the news of Luther is running for president, and you're like, you're like, man's always running for president. <laughs> he is though. He always is. Yeah. Um, we got a minute 45 left, just enough time to say this last piece of DC news here, which is Frank Grillo, who is voicing um, Rick Flag Sr. in Creature Commandos, has confirmed that Creature Commandos is still set to release in 2024, as it was not affected by the strikes. So there's another W there. Um, we get at least some good content coming next year. Hopefully. Oh, that's good. Um, but yeah, that is the end of the DC news. We got a lot of stuff to talk about for gaming. Yeah, so I I'd say we did perfect there. So. Yeah, so we will be right back because Zoom hates us. We'll be back. Um, here, you guys want another commercial? Yeah, let's play one right. off. There you go. Coming from the farthest reaches of the universe to challenge the worst villains on Earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the Battle of the Superpowers Collection. What's this? The dam's about to blow and take Robin with it? Who'll stop the Joker and Luther? Aquaman! Kenner's new Superpowers Collection figures with power action, each sold separately with its own mini-comic. Aquaman, stay out! Who can help now? A power ring, a power action punch. Defuse the bomb! Can this madness be stopped in time? You decide. Gaming. Yes, gaming. Um, do you have any other news besides the big one? No, unless anything pops up during our time. Talking. I got you. Um, well, as um, you know, most of you may know, uh, Sony had a state of play this last Thursday as we are recording this, and uh, I don't know, pretty good, pretty good show. I mean, I don't know, what was uh, your thoughts on it? I like it. I, I, yeah. I call it. I call I wouldn't call it an S tier show, but I call it an A tier show. Oh yeah, de- definitely in the A tier. Uh, three highlight games for me were, uh, I'd say, uh, Baby Steps, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and uh, Foam Party, Foam Stars, or whatever. Oh yeah, there was uh, another game there that I just completely, like, but, honestly probably pretty forgettable. I gotta be honest. Yeah, Mar- Marvel's Batman Two, something like that. Yeah, oh. yeah they have the new Batman Mar- game. Mar- Mar- Marvel's Tower of the Duck Two, yeah, okay. something like that. That's what you you but, wish. I, that is a wish of mine, but in all seriousness, they showed off Marvel Spider-Man Two. There, a new uh, what would you call it? An overview trailer. Uh, yeah, oh, that sounds about right. Yeah, overview trailer and a deluxe one at the very end. Um, thoughts on this? I mean, it was it was pretty surprising. Uh, because I, me and you were going back and forth on it. I was just going to accept that. We weren't going to get it there, but the news for it would come the next day on Friday with the uh, with everyone talking about their um, they because there was a play test over the weekend or over the week with uh, influencers and news outlets playing the game and their personal thoughts on it. I was like, that's what that 
we'll that's that'll be the Spider Man stuff. We're getting nothing Thursday. But surprise, surprise, we did. Um but yeah, thoughts thoughts on this. Um what were your thoughts on the trailer or the over of the overview? It got me hype. Oh yeah. I um <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but excuse me. It doesn't even feel like the same game of Marvel Spider Man one and Marvel Spider Man Miles Morales. Like it feels like a completely like I don't know. It was just looks and just feels different, <laughs> you know? Like you talk yeah. about like a sequel that felt like it was built up like ground up, you know? Um, because like the UI is so like completely different. The like you know the the icons are different. It's, it's insane. Yeah, but, uh, we got we got a lot of things in this trailer, and the one one of the uh, one reveal of the trailer I was really loving the see or the suits we will be getting in the game, and how yeah, that you got, works you out got with. the suit. That you wanted one of them. I got the suit I was begging for, and that is uh the Ravy Black suit. Very happy to see that. Uh we have um every suit in the game has four different color styles to it. There's over sixty five suits of the game in the game, and each suit has um four different color variants. Which leads yeah. to over two hundred, over two hundred. Now, I don't know if the sixty-five includes the deluxe edition suits, but if it does, man, that's an extra ten on top of that. So close to eighty. It said it said over sixty-five, so I'm assuming it's gonna be like sixty-seven seats. You know, we'll meet in the middle here. Jeez. So, and we get those deluxe editions in there. That's seventy-seven seats, and maybe with DLC in the future, we'll add another ten in there <laughs> so that i mean that's for me that's great news to hear uh especially a person that loves changing outfits all the time um now i did some math uh well i didn't do math i was just doing a bit of research um i'm gonna call it right now not every suit that was in the previous games will be in this one uh i don't know if you had that thought at all? I didn't know if you thought like all of them would come over. I thought I had read um, somewhere that they would. I read somewhere that it would. T- well, I, I can't remember. I need to go back and do it. But I know in I because I was looking. I was like, okay, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna bring every suit from the first game from from yeah, Marvel's Fire and Marvel's Fire and Miles Morales over. But they'll add some new ones as well, and then they'll do four color variant. Because there's obviously new ones here, obviously new ones. I t- I mean, I think the damaged classic suit is not going to be in this game because yeah. um, just saw I just saw today. I don't know if I sent this to you. Evan Falarka, um, bit, he he was one of the influencers that got to play the game. Said he got, he purposely like got, like he was playing as Miles, purposely made him get beat up. And apparently he was saying the suit damage in that is like crazy good. Where it like, you, I mean, it gets like really like ripped up and all that. That's cool. So that's, that's that. good. Yeah. So that's good to hear. Um, so, so I'm going to say the damage classic suit from the first game is not going to be here. Uh, it, it'll just be the classic suit, and you'll see it get damaged. Um, I don't know what suits they could take away because, uh, like, none of them really feel like a waste. Besides, maybe like the classic, the damaged classic suit, you know? Yeah, that's like. Sorry, I just one. had almost had a heart attack because my PlayStation told me that it's trying to install Mortal Kombat one. <laughs> oh really? Oh, play it tonight. <laughs> um, I think it's a preload thing. It's yeah, it's that's definitely what it is the preload. Um, just, yeah, but I mean, I mean, I say on suits, man. I think we are pretty good. Um, so I mean, I, I don't know, man. I just, I, I just want. I, what, what, what's your dream suit? Because I already got mine. I got me the Remy Black suit. Um, what's well, like a dream suit you want for Peter or Miles? Um. That that we haven't seen in the other two. Well, 
Um, so I mean, for first, Peter, for Peter or I mean, Miles? Yeah, or Peter or Miles, or if you have one for both, I mean, you I kind of want, like, I mean, granted, it's not the same character, but I want, um, uh, freaking, uh, what's his name? Oh my god. Uh, Spider Man 2099 from Across the Spider Verse. Oh, Miguel, Miguel O'Hara. Yeah, I want like a Miguel yeah. O'Hara outfit for Peter. That's like, that's from the movie where it's like animated, kind of like the end of yeah. the, the Spider Verse yeah. outfit was. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. I know. That's a great, that's a great one. I was, um, I was thinking, I, cause I won the, I got the Raymond Black suit, so I'm pretty happy. Happy about that, and Secret we'll Wars go... black suit would be cool too. I like a black. Wars... I'd like a black suit for Miles. It's like I have an I, outfit like that. That I think that is a thing that is because Miles has had the black suit in the comics before. Yeah, I think I, like he's, I feel like he's got to get the symbiote at least once in this game. Yeah, right? I feel like it'll. I feel like it might jump from Peter because we've only we've, honestly all we've seen from the black suit with Peter is like he he has to get it pretty early on in the game. He fights a lizard. He comes face to face with Craven, and then we don't know anything after that because we know Venom shows up at some point. So he obviously loses it. Yeah. So um, what happens um, if he loses it? I I think oh, what talk about make sure you were talked about that um thing I sent you with the whole like meteor and the symbiote trying to go. Oh yes. Him. So that was I'm trying to remember who I think it was Blitzwinger. Is that who that was? That's who it sounded like. I don't know if you I, know I, I yeah I know who that is. Um. Is you that know, was that him? Maybe. I want to say it was because it sounded just like him. Um, well, here, actually, here, I'll let I'll let I'll let you do the honors on that because it's like it's such a big topic on this. Like, I mean, we've barely scratched the surface of news. I mean, it was yeah. like this was such a barrage of news. It, it's somewhat overwhelming, and I feel like I've seen just enough. You know, I ain't yeah. complaining. You know, this is exactly what I wanted, but this is. It's like I don't want to see anything else of this game now, you know. Yeah. Um. It was it, something with the talking about a scene where Peter was in a lab. He has symbiote on, and he goes up to a container that has the meteor in it, where the symbiote came to Earth. Apparently, there's yeah. a lot of like details hidden through the game that talk about that. Um. Yeah. But he uh he goes and like touches it, and the symbiote tries to like get off of him and like go towards the meteor. It's like it recognizes it and wants to be. Like just like it's home planet or whatever, and yeah. he said on the meteor is the a uh, the red spiral symbol, which is um those you don't know the red spiral is what I think Noel uh, the symbiote god is that what he is right? Yes, um, is that's his like people's thing. That's what's on their face is a big red spiral, mm. and now everyone's thinking that Noel is going to be Insomniac Universe's big ending battle. That's that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, so we'll get Carnage then if that's the case. Too. Mm. Uh, but I don't maybe. think that's going to be Spider Man 3. I honestly think that they're not going to stop at Spider Man 3. You think it's like not going to be a trilogy. Four? They're going to keep going. Until what? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Final Fantasy kept going, and now they're at like 800. So, I mean. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's different. I think there's a point where it's like, okay, yes. I, I will call this, though. I will say this. Spider Man three will be the last story with Peter. Um That's fair. I'd say if we I can maybe see them do a fourth game, but it'll be like a big like Miles Morales. Not like a not like Spider Man Miles Morales two where it's like a short story. It will be Spider Man four, but Miles Morales is like lead the whole time. That'd be interesting. Um yep, That's my thoughts. Sorry. I'm I'm reading. I'm, I'm I'm listening, but I was also reading because this thing on Mortal Kombat One right here says get free online multiplayer this weekend with PS Plus from September 16th to 17th, and I'm like, well, excuse me. Oh wait, hold up, wait, hold up. Does that mean I can play? I don't know. <laughs> hold up, we have to look into that because we'll stream that. <laughs> I was playing, but it has to uh, be streamed to like today. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. It has well, to be, not uh, today. It's 1:50 in the morning, so like today. So, like so not today is the way we're thinking about it. Yes, um, that's but, but that's Sorry. that's interesting because I mean, like I mean, literally, the only thing we talked about is the suit so far, <laughs> and it's um, there's a lot to it with you know I mentioned the colors and all that. Um, yeah. one I definitely want is 
I'm surprised you didn't say this. Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. Oh, I didn't uh, think about that. That that is I know my friends have been begging to have that. Uh yeah, I didn't think about that. It, that. That's one that definitely needs to be. I'm sure it's in here. And if not, um, I'm sure it'll be in a DLC. If, if not that, there's some type of licensing or something with that suit for some reason. But um but here I'll go on to the next uh key point we found out about. The symbiote suit is what like, is a certain uh mode you could switch to. So if I'm if I understand I, I'm hopefully I ain't getting the information wrong here. Uh please forgive me. But I believe it's like a suit like a suit mode you can switch to on the fly, like in Web of Shadows. Is it I thought um you're just like stuck with it. No no you well, you're stuck with story wise, yes. Yeah, but because like, then there's all there's also that thing they announced with like the whole symbiote surge thing and all that. And it's... I, I believe in the end game. So, like, let's say so. In the trailer, you see you see Peter with his mechanical arms, right? Yeah, that's that's one of his suit powers. But then you have the next suit power, and that's with the symbiote. And you can put that on. You can do one of the two on any suit pos- that you want. It doesn't always have to be the symbiote suit. I don't believe anyways. So, everybody was confused with the, you know, because in the trailer, you see the Raimi, the black suit, uh, oh, yeah. the Raimi Spider-Man, you see with the mechanical arms, like, well, hold up, shouldn't it be the symbiote powers? It's because that, that mode is switched to the spider arms mode and not the symbiote mode. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I, I um... I think I believe that's what you can do. Um, so I don't fully quote me on it, but I, from what I was reading, that's what it looks like you can do. So that I love that idea of even more customization of how you want it. So if it's like, well, I like the symbiote powers, but I want to wear the classic, just red and blue suit, you can do that. You know, it look weird, but you can do it. Uh, so that's very good to hear. Um, we have you want to talk people. about um, what the the villain reveal? Oh yeah, see uh, again, yes. So and that's like again, we're barely scratching the surface of what they showed off on this game. So now we have confirmation on many villains. Um, you know, we already had the ones for Lizard. Well, well, I guess just do one. Yeah, yeah, just be one. I was thinking Wraith was like brand new, but she's not. Oh no, she was in that first uh, trailer. Yeah, she was in that first one. The same clip, so we still haven't seen more on her. They're keeping their cards very tight on this game. Very tight. We didn't see no new footage of Venom. Like, and I'm going to call it right now, Eddie Brock's Venom. What? Yeah, I'm going to call feel, it right now. Um, I'm going to call it right now that it's not, and it's actually Harry. I, I don't think it is. Why would it be Eddie Brock, though, when the dude literally said it's not Eddie Brock? Because he's throwing a Arkham Knight at you. That's why. Yeah, but this is not like a Jason Todd thing here. Um, they, they didn't specifically come out and say, "Yeah, Arkham Knight." Yeah, but yeah, nor Todd. nor did he say it's nor did he say it's Harry. It's not Harry. Yeah, either. he said you'll find out, but he said it specifically it is not Eddie Brock. They said they're telling their own version of the story. Yeah, their own story of Eddie Brock. <laughs> it's, it's Eddie Brock. I'm gonna call it right now. It's Eddie Brock. It's uh, actually I'll, Dwayne Johnson playing it's the Rock, and he's the hierarchy of power. Yeah. Um, back to where I so we've already seen the villains confirmed, such as Lizard, Craven, Venom, Wraith, uh, Prowler. Prowler has confirmed that thing. In this trailer, we have just got the confirmation of Mysterio will be in the game. I'm very excited about this because Mysterio is my favorite Spider-Man villain of all time. I don't know about you, Darian. I don't know if you saw this on Twitter, but there were so many idiots oh, yeah. talking about his design and Wait, how bad it's on was. Twitter, you don't say. Yeah, uh, I know. Crazy, right? Spider-Man Twitter is complaining about something? Insane. Um, which makes no sense because it's obviously not his suit form, his villain form. It's him just do, being quitting back. Yeah. So I don't understand why everyone's all like, I hate this design. 
I'm all like, wait till the full design comes out, and when it and if it does look trash, I'll be the first one to call it out. You know, because as far as I'm concerned, it's hard to mess up a Mysterio design. You know, just get the get the fishbowl head, and you know, get some nice green and green going on. Give him a nice cape, and we're good. Yeah. You know, that's all you gotta do. Yeah. So, oh, um, impromptu gaming news. Uh, um, there we go. Well, it's nothing like huge. It's Fortnite. Um, oh. every DC skin is out in Fortnite right now. Oh, really? Yes. Beside, well, besides, I think there's a couple that aren't out. Besides Starfire's like out there. Besides, like Battle Pass. Yeah, besides Battle Pass, but um, we're talking about like Batman, the Fortnite version of Batman, the one they designed, all his emotes and gliders and stuff. Uh, Batman who laughs, Catwoman, Deathstroke, Harley Quinn, Flash, Wonder Woman, Bloodsport. Beast Boy, Black Manta. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's great. Hey, well, yeah, go uh, pick up some skins, boys and girls. Yeah, there you go. Black Manta was sick. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sexy Black Manta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that's gonna be a shirt. <laughs> that's what we should do. That's um, that's gonna be a meme. Um, what was I saying? Um, but yeah, so. Wait till the full design comes out, and we'll then we'll see. But right now, let's just quit back. That ain't the Mysterio design, so that's good to hear. Um, fall damage is in the game now. Uh, yeah, that's that's you can toggle it, right? You, yes, you can toggle it on and off. I'm going to turn it on because I just I like the idea of it. Of like, of. I don't know, it makes it feel more realistic, you know, kind of gives like an edge, like, you know, I, I'm going to risk doing these tricks in the air and get as close to the ground as possible. I'm going to web swing last minute, you know, just put some extra flair on it, you know, a little, little bit of uh, danger to it, you know, it just makes it more fun, in my opinion, anyways. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I'll definitely be turning it on. How about you? Um... I'll probably turn it on, but if there's ever a time when I want to go all the way to the highest building in the game and jump off, I'm going to turn it off. No, no, that's when you turn it on. <laughs> Just see what happens. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, that's, I mean, I was happy to hear that. Uh, web web swinging mechanics are uh, changed up a bit. You can now do loop-de-loops, which is really good to hear. You do loop-de-loops. Um, you can do this one thing. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a it's where you're web swinging, and if you need to do like a sharp right turn, um, you shoot like two webs to your right or left, whichever way you need to go, and it just goes that way. If that makes sense. Um, Darren, I'll send you a clip of Base Forever 2, and you can edit it in here, so it gives gives people a better understanding of what I'm talking about. But um so yeah that's confirmed by um by one of the developers of the game. And so that um I don't know. I'm very happy to hear all these uh web swinging upgrades. I think it will definitely improve the game a lot and help other people who had issues with it um with it being too easy or like just feels like it's just it's just guiding you this gives more freedom and more personalization to each and every one of you know you know spider-man you're playing as and just i don't know just feels more unique probably for each person yeah. um I'm trying to think of anything else with it um because i don't because I, I definitely don't want to miss nothing here um i don't know if you see the clip but it was have, the clip yeah, with the clip. Uh, with Craven and Spider Man. Yeah. Um, shout out to Yuri Lowenthal, man. Uh, his performance is already just superb. Uh, I love the symbiote voice, the way he acts, and everything. And you see with the animation of the movement of him, of like he's like feels like it looks like he's like being like controlled, you know. It, and it's like so scary. Look, I love it. Yeah. Love it, but um. That's kind. Of, that's that's really all the big stuff. Um. Oh, I don't know how I almost forgot. You can now ski off water. 
um, you know, if you're out on the lake or something and you're web, swing, web swinging or something, you could like ski ski on the water with your web and all that. And that that's super cool. I thought that was a great addition to that. I, I got very excited and texted Darian all about it, So that's good. Um, yeah. But that's, that's pretty much it. Um, unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something here, Major? Um, not that I can there, think. Because multiple clips out, um, impressions have been uh, very positive from what I've seen. Me, okay. Uh, well, here's my here's my question, right? Oh yeah, game of the year or not? <laughs> like just based off that right now. I mean, I I want to I want it to be game of the year. It definitely ain't no Starfield. I'll tell you that right now. Even some Xbox guys are coming out and saying it ain't like the generational masterpiece as they made it out to be. Yeah. So it's not Starfield. I'd say the biggest competitors are Zelda, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, uh well. I've made a Fortnite purchase. <laughs> what, what did you buy? The Batman Who Laughs. <laughs> the Batman Who Laughs again? Okay. <laughs> um, I think who else? I mean, we'll wait for more combat to come out. We'll see how that uh, see that could be possible game of the year. That's going to be fighting game of the year. <laughs> fighting game of the year? Well, Street Fighter 6? Yes. Everyone, you notice everyone stopped talking about Street Fighter 6? That is true. That is true. I don't I know what it's lost did. a little bit of well, like it should... excitement because there's not much going on in it right now. Yeah, that's true. Well, the thing is, they put all the good DLC characters like near the end, except yeah, for like. And then, well, they do have that one. I don't know if she's out yet. Aki. Yeah, uh, I think she's about to come out. I don't even. She looks, I... she looks fun, but I think that'll bring more spe- more people in. But there hasn't been that much hype around her. And I don't know if it's like just the game's kind of like dying out. Like, I mean, I hope not because it looked fun. It was fun yeah. when I played a little bit of it. It's definitely a fun game. I don't want to die out or anything. Nor do I do think, you think it it's is. suffering from maybe the same thing Street Fighter Five may have. Because I know a lot of people didn't play that game. It's yeah. It's just, at first they did. Well, I think I think what kind of sucks is it's just it is it almost. Uh, the arcade definitely feels very undercooked compared to uh, the online's awesome. You have that whole hub area. You have like the classic games you can play with leaderboards. You have uh, extra mode where it's you know a simple battle with like a mix with like a mix of uh of stuff with it. Um, and it, and the online matchmaking is great, but it's just I sell a single player stuff like so. Like I, I definitely Battle Hub is not Battle Hub. Um, Fighting Ground, no crap. What's that? What's that? That open world one where you make like your own character. Oh, um, I, I can't remember the name called. of it. I know what you're talking about. But like that's just like okay. That's not really that good. You yeah. know, like I like it to. I think extent, I really but... think Street Fighter would benefit from doing a story mode, like a real. A real one, yeah. I don't, yeah, like a Mortal Kombat one. Yes, yeah, I love that idea. And and it, it sucks because this is like a big leap for the characters. Like, I mean, you look at the design of, you look at the design of all the characters. It tells like such an interesting story. Like so, Ken and Reed, I'd say, be, being the biggest examples, you know, of how they traditionally look to how they're looking now with Ken being chased down, you know, having to hide from. Um, I can't remember their names, but having having to go into hiding away from his family, you know, and yeah. really like fully, fully like mastering everything he's like learned. It's like very interesting story stuff, but the arcade just feels so undercooked. It doesn't, you know, fully satisfy the story. Sorry, but uh, back to Spider-Man. I think that's. Oh yeah, well I, mean, I was gonna keep talking, talking about gaming. And hey, I think hey, we were we, done with we, Spider Man, weren't uh, we? Uh, we were. You're asking. You're asking me game of the year, though. Uh, it's true. Yeah. I mean, we got to play and see, man. But I don't know. I mean, this is this seems. I mean, this looks like it's going to come out as like the most perfect sequel possible, like ever. That's true. You know, um, for Spider Man until until Alan Wake two comes up. Uh, <laughs> good one. Um, uh, I mean, no, I, not a good one because everyone said that game's going to be peak. 
Yeah, but this game is gonna be even. This game is gonna be peaky to peak. Okay. Peaker. Yeah, peaker. Yes. <laughs> so I don't want to hear it. Um, no, no, yeah, I'm sure I like two's gonna be a great game. It's just one's a sto- one's a book writer. One, one's R. L. Stein, and the other one's Spider Man. Okay. Who's comparing so, Alan Wake to R. L. Stein? He he's the same. He's writing a story. He's writing a scary story. And it comes he's to writing life. a story, so yeah. And now he's stuck in the darkness, and there's a like copy of him out in the world. It's not actually him, and he's trying to write a new story to write himself out of the darkness, but the darkness won't let him. Yep, R.L. Stein. Yep. Peak. It's not the. <laughs> it's not the plot of Goosebumps. Okay. It's the plot of Goosebumps with Jack Black. It's the plot of Goosebumps. You actually mean Bowser? I'm ba- oh, Bowser. You mean you mean JD? <laughs> you mean Jables? Uh, Jablinski. <laughs> um I mean, I think it'll get game of the year. No, wait, hold up. I don't know yet. Uh if I had to say what will probably win is Baldur's Gate three. Really? Yeah, I think I, I think that's the one that's gonna win. Um, honestly, maybe. I've heard a lot of good stuff. I ought to, I ought to buy that game and stream it. I mean it's the highest reviewed PS5 game. Actually I shouldn't stream that game. I think what's inside of it. <laughs> I think you should stream. I think that'd be perfect. That, talk about us getting some views, man. <laughs> that that would work. Yeah. Here, how about this? How about you try to avoid that stuff? See That's how long like that... the Well, you know what happened whenever I was playing um, Batman Telltale, and I got to the Catwoman and Batman. Oh yeah. And I was like, what do I do? <laughs> Help, chat. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a chat to talk to them, but now I do. Don't oh, yeah. no, like chat. Chat, close your eyes. <laughs> Those are our chat. So, Bob, get the bear. Oh, my God. Knowing your luck, you'll have, like, the worst, like, the most, like, I'll have the worst. most raunchy scene. <laughs> It'd be I'll, have, like, I'll have face cam by then. Oh, yeah. Five trolls, some bears in there. Oh, God. Yeah. N- yeah. No one. Yeah. That sounds about right. Um, But, yeah, I think, I think Baldur's Gate 3 will probably get game of the year. That or Zelda. Zelda. That, those are the big two. I I want it out because I just think Insomniac deserves it, man. Like they they I mean, dude, within the past, assuming it's just we're going to assume here that Wolverine is going to come out twenty twenty four. I mean, they put out. Let's see here. Six games in the past six years. Is that right? You got Spider Man, Spider Man two, or sorry, most Spider Man two, Spider Man two, Ratchet and Clank, or five games in the past six years. I mean, that's, I mean, that's like impressive, you and know. All yeah, all peak. Well, I mean, I almost no. Wolverine is going to be peak. We're just going to say that right now. Yeah, it will be no peak. Way it's not. If it if it sucks, I'll be surprised. Um, I'll be showing up to the midnight launch with my Wolverine calls. <laughs> and I'll um, uh, I'll just be I'll be there in a Professor X wheelchair. I guess. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me? To, you want me to paralyze you? Paral- yes, please paralyze me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gotta get into character. But, you know, that's everything for two. Very excited for the game. They showed a lot. Um, I I don't really know what else to add, but there's a, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I recommend you go look through it yourself and hear all the impressions. Uh, IGN and Evan Falarka seem to be the best. Um, yeah, IGN's video is good. I haven't watched uh, Evan, Evan Falarka got a bit wrong on his thing of saying like you can't do loop de loops or anything like that, but one guy said you could, and other people are saying you can as well. It's just it's a skill you have to unlock. You have to like you hold R two and you just oh, like loop. swinging. You tell me they're like swinging abilities. Like yeah, what that? Oh yeah. Okay. I wonder what the sprint is. Like I wonder if you like. Interesting. You can run faster, or I definitely something I want is it, when you let go of a web and hit the ground. I want you to do like a nice, like smooth, continuous sprint. You know, yeah. Because in the previous games, if you let go of web to sprint, you kind of just stop, and it's just like kind of awkward a bit. And I hear like the the web swinging is like just three times faster than what it is in like the first two games, and. They're saying that if you play this, you won't be able to like go back to the original two oh. because it's just so much faster and smoother. And Peter's like web tricks or like his like fault. His trick animations are cool because 
he didn't spoil them, but he said one of them is like Peter like solving like a Rubik's cube or something. It's kind of cool. Now yeah. I didn't I didn't notice there were some new animations in the um web swinging. Yeah, yeah. That's so really cool. That's confirmed. So I know everyone's complaining. Where's the new animations? And so I was like, okay, we got some animations for you, and just put put them all in there. Um. Combat looks great. Bosses have uh, life health bars now. I'm happy about that. I like that. Yeah, uh, they. It's. <laughs> I think what bosses. Nice um, from what I've seen from the lizard boss fight, it looks great. I've tried to stay um, away from watching all that with the lizard boss fight because I want to be surprised. Yeah, um, I, I I've definitely seen enough. Um, I ain't gonna watch anything else, unless it's something like crazy. Um, like yeah, something like all I've seen, I've seen some shots of like I saw his his tail fall off. Yeah, and I don't. I, I think that was like okay, that's enough. Yeah, I yeah I saw like a scene of I mean, I, I don't want to say much because I don't know what you had what you've seen um or I mean what you haven't seen because I I've seen everything you know that they yeah that, I've that, I've that, stayed I've it. tried to stay away I saw a shot of Peter on the side of a building with lizard and lizard's tail falls off because yeah Craven's yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was. Talking. Oh, this is what I was gonna mention. Well, it's the scene before that. He's like going up the building. Oh, I haven't seen that. I yes, okay. I, I I've also see. seen um one where Peter's being dragged like on the street when some tanks are crashing behind him. Yeah, I saw that too. Yes, it's um, it's so uh, it's awesome, man. It's, it's like it, it's it's this is gonna be probably the best fire game ever made, and I'm glad I'm here to witness it. <laughs> Uh, with my own two eyes. Um, are you still yeah. having? Oh, okay. We have four minutes left, me by the way. Are you oh. still having um your feelings about like you don't want to play any other game except Spider Man? Yes, yeah, I say it's probably gotten worse now. Um, but look, look, well, that red Red Dead Two is great. I um, it, it it's definitely helped solidify it a bit. Because I'd be playing like Marvel's Avengers, and I'd be trying to play these like new indie games, oh, yeah. and just and different other things. But it's just like nothing was, nothing was satisfying me. You need something engaging. Yeah, and Red Dead Two worked out perfectly. I got that bundle. I told y'all the thirty dollar bundle where I feel screwed over buying fifty dollars of Red Dead One. Yeah. Uh, so I got Red Dead Two, Red Dead I One. It's forty. I just got. Is it forty? I thought it was fifty. Yeah, it's it's just forty on the store. Oh, oh yeah. Oh hey. bu- well, no. Well, you're talking about the bundle or just like the first game? The first game, Red Dead One. Oh yeah, it's forty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the bundle was like thirty bucks. I was like, I'd rather. Or, or, but bundle was sixty dollars. I'd rather feel like I spent thirty on the on Red Dead Two and you know and and the first one. So yeah. Um, we got that, and I got me a dongle for my Guitar Hero. <laughs> I should have should just ended it. And I said, W Sorry. dongle. So I, I just got, I just got, yeah, so I got me that to keep me satisfied for a while, and I got me a dongle. <laughs> Everyone in the comments put W dongle. W dongle. Um, <laughs> dongle's keeping Landon at peace. Yeah, but um, but yes. Yeah, <laughs> no, everyone in the comments put hashtag Landon loves the dongle. <laughs> <laughs> Ding or dongle. Oh, um, good. Landon's dongle. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go um but yeah, yeah. I'm, but yeah i i'm still not got that i it this made it worse because i really was just i don't want to play nothing else but that now but um but yeah that's all the news i recommend you go watch the trailer yourself hear some impressions get your thoughts but everybody's yeah. saying this is gonna be the standard this should be the standard for superhero games and just sequels in general is what the word is right now so that's good to hear it is good to hear i like that um all right well if that's all you got yep <laughs> sorry to interrupt the show everybody but with all the excitement of marvel spider-man 2 and talking about all that me and Len forgot to announce the big thing that we were teasing towards the beginning of the episode um so this is me in the editing phase right now coming in to tell you exactly what we were going to reveal which is that in Let's see right now from when you guys are seeing this in two weeks and five, wait, a week and five days. Sorry. We will be having our 100th episode of the comic book burrito 
Um, that is 100 episodes of the main show, not counting extra beef or any of the other side stuff. So we wanted to celebrate. And so we will be doing a live stream on Saturday, September 30th, which is also happens to be the day that Marvel's Avengers is uh, getting not shut down, but I guess laid to rest. So we will be talking about that. We're doing a bunch of stuff such as reacting to our very first episode. And we're going to see all the news that we talked about on there, find out what came true and also cringe probably a lot. And let's see, we also got some Marvel's Avengers stuff. We're going to talk about uh, Marvel Spider-Man two, most definitely. Um, let's see. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. I'm going to get Landon to react to the five nights at Freddy's lore. That's sure that should be fun. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff planned. Um, a lot of fun. And you guys should definitely come and join us. Yeah. All right. See you then. Back to the episode. All right. Well, I guess we go ahead and get ready to end this. Um, so thank you all so much for joining us this week. Um, talk about a lot of stuff, a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Um, and yeah, let's see what stuff that's coming up this week. You guys got to know about um, Tuesday night, Mortal Kombat 1, first part of the story mode. That's the plan. I'm going to play through that. And then... The next week, upcoming weekend, we're going to play through it more. I may have to end up doing two streams a day. Oh, wow. Maybe. But it'll be Mortal Kombat, and I have to finish the DLC for the Final Threat Security Breach. Uh, but we'll see. Um, and uh, I don't know. For a second. And then Wednesday, um, we have our review. If you guys tuned into Extra Beef last week with the Punisher, you know we spun the wheel, and we have a review of Batman: Mask of the Phantasm this week. I've never seen yeah. it, and has uh, love that. Yeah. yeah, so we're reviewing that. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at Darien H four four zero four. That's D A R I E N H four four zero four. Or on Instagram at the Comic Book Burrito underscore official. Facebook at the Comic Book Burrito colon official page. Or Twitter at the CB Burrito, capital C, capital B, B and Burrito. Uh, yeah, contact me at Spider underscore Landon on uh, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Very interactive on all three platforms, and we can talk about my dongle. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. okay. Well, <laughs> with that being said, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and get out of here, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Excelsior!